With Forex, bruh, you gotta be focused. I'm talking about this kind of focus. Hey, sexy. Yo, what's up? Just catching these pips. I got something you can catch. What? Herpes? Oh my god! I'm good, love. If it ain't these pips, I don't want it! What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jerry Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you. Did y'all like that? That's lit, huh? Ooh, in a world full of hate, we gotta animate. You feel me? That's what we on right now. But hey, if it's your first time subscribing, thank you. Make sure you comment your cash outs below because I do do giveaways. You feel me? Whenever I withdraw my bread or whenever YouTube pay me, I do giveaways as a thank you for subscribing. Getting closer to that 100K mark. All right, but today's video is going to be about the NBA strategy, never book again strategy that I've been using for the past week and a half and I've been killing with it. You feel me? I'm gonna show you how to use it, how to set it up. I'm gonna show you my likes and dislikes about it, how I used it, you know, uh, what you should do and what not to do, you know, with the strategy and things like that. So with that being said, before we get into it, make sure you thumbs this video up a million times, man. Get that, that thumbs up so that way YouTube can post my videos to other people, you know what I'm saying, get it seen even more. But I ain't gonna talk your ears off, man, so let's get straight into the strategy. It's time to get that money. You are now looking at a money machine. You feel me? If you do this right, oh my God, you ain't gonna never need a stimulus check again. You feel me? So stay tuned and watch, you feel me? All right, so check this out, y'all. So this right here is the NBA Never Broke Again strategy. You see, I've been testing this for a straight week, zero losses until the next week, and then I got cooked. But I'm gonna tell y'all why I got cooked, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I did trade this strategy for a whole week. So look, let me break this down to you. First thing you need is a RSI. So you wanna come down here, grab your RSI, drag it on, all right? Now, mine is custom, and I'll go over that in a minute. First thing you need to do, as far as just setting your RSI up, is right-clicking on the chart, click Indicator List. I named mine the NBA RSI, because it's custom, and I'll go over that in a minute, all right? But hit Edit, all right? First thing you wanna do is come over here to your levels, all right? You wanna click on the Levels tab. The first level, at the highest point, you wanna make 82, all right? Now, mine may not show up because you know, I got some things going on with it, but we'll go over that in a minute, all right? So then, second level, you wanna do 75, all right? So you wanna put highest point, sell on your 82, overbought, sell on your uh, 70, uh, 75, then the 25, you wanna put 25. If you don't know how to add, just add another level. 25, put oversold, uh, buy, my bad. Dropping my microphone and stuff, you feel? wrong with your boy then at the last one you want to do um 16 and put lowest point by all right then you just hit okay and you good all right you good so boom hit okay all right now peep this y'all <clears throat> the whole goal of this strategy is to get this bag all right to find some of the best entry points in the world you feel me so this is what we looking at when the market shoots up anywhere between 75 82 like 84 85 it's coming down hard it's coming down period you know what i'm saying it's coming down when it get to that highest point it's coming down as you can see right here what it do hit right at that 82 right here at the 82 this is 82 right here and how many pips <laughs> did we get Oh my lord, 864 pips. Now this is on a higher time frame. The higher time frames kill with this strategy long term. All right, you catch this on the higher time frames long term, you wanna be a long term trader, or you gonna eat, especially if it's on the downtrend. You feel me? You gonna eat, all right? What happened over here though? When you get to this lowest point, so basically at 75, depending on what, you know, if you're doing like 15 minute chart, M5, M1, things like that, quick scalps, um, <clears throat> what happens is when it gets to the 75, you wanna be looking, right? You wanna be looking to make sure 
that you know is going to go in your direction all right so usually when it hits 75 i'm looking at the market i'm not immediately getting in i'm looking because a lot of the times what happens is it'll get to 75 and then the momentum will take it from 75 to around like 80 something and at the 80s i'll usually get in sometimes every now and then i'll get in at 75 but i'll get in at a lower lot size uh just to make sure so i may get in at like 0 0.02 if i wasn't sure and then if it keeps going up then i'm only losing like a dollar something right versus trying to get in at a standard and then getting eight up on the way back up and then trying to catch it on the way back down so what i do is as soon as i see it hit 75 uh i'm watching now if i'm if i'm confident it's gonna drop i'll hop in based off like support and resistance or something right but um usually at 75 i'm watching see it start to go 76 77 78 get up there to them 80s i'm like boom it don't matter standard at the top you know what i'm saying i'm riding it back down same thing down here though right when it gets to this 25 as you can see right here got here in this 25 mark and what happened bounce Shoom. but the same rules apply now on higher time frames most of the time it's going to respect that that 25 um on the like on the 15 minute it's going to go lower than 25 sometimes like it might go to 25 and go straight up or it may um bounce off i mean uh, get to 25 go up a little bit go back down to like around like uh, 16 15 and then shoot back up all right so that's what i've been noticing over the week that i've been testing it so you can see right here what happened boom shot straight up this is on a higher time frame but it respects it as you can see right here got in the zone 75 82 got in the zone sell boom drop every time right here perfect drop you know what i'm saying killer killer entries and killer uh you know it just it's just what it is so right here now this is on a higher time frame it got down to the 16 mark what i tell y'all it got down to the 16 mark turn green mine see mine turn green when they pass those levels and i get an alert to my phone i'll show you how to do that as well all right so as soon as it come down here turn green bounced off moment turn blue then i know i'm good but either way if you hit that 16 i'm buying this is what i'm putting on my standards and stuff like that at the lowest point you know what i'm saying and shot up how many pips was this now like i said this is on a higher time frame so it's gonna be a lot more pips but this right here was about 159 pips you see that hope y'all catching this man i'm giving y'all the sauce i'm giving y'all the sauce for the free you feel me all right boom what happened right here 82 respect that 82 right here what happened drop dude drop our right, time frames now let's go to like the 15 minutes so i can show y'all something it works the same way on the 15 minutes y'all same way look respect the 75 it may be a little higher than 75 though because let me hover over it and see and we looking at 77 so this got to like 77 past the 75 got to 77 drop all right I mean, hey, it's been proven. Like I said, I didn't did it a week straight, zero losses. All right, did it. Matter of fact, let me show y'all right quick. Let me show y'all right quick. All right, so I deposited nine hundred dollar, nine hundred and twenty-one dollars on the 29th of May. All right, and then I just start cooking on the first of June. Y'all see it, first of June. This is a whole week. Boom, nine dollars right there. You know, point zero lot on gold, standard on gold, one hundred and eighteen dollars. Two standards on euro usd same strategy all this is the same strategy y'all 612 dollars on that then i did a withdrawal had to withdraw that bread right got down here i made another withdrawal of 739 when i made some more money right here 510 dollars here off of two standards told you i'll be doing them two standards a lot of these were sales remember i told you i sell big at the very top all right uh uh 32 dollars made right there then i did another withdrawal right here 519 withdrawal y'all see it all right, keep it going. Three standards at the top of a uh, Euro USD. Probably that drop, that drop I showed y'all on the four hour or wherever it was. Fifteen, uh, but four seventy seven right there. Three standards, right? Point one zero nineteen dollars. Three standards, one hundred thirty one dollars. I wasn't playing no games. Still ain't saw a loss yet, have you? Nope. Gold. One standard, 72, still going. All in the span of a week. Look at the dates. NZD USD, 96. Same same trade again. 94. 
94, 17, cooking the markets with this strategy, y'all. I'm not playing no games. You know what I mean? It works. It works. It works. All right. So, boom. Let's keep going. All right. So, this can be for quick scalps on like on like the 15, the 5 minute, the 1 minute. This can be for quick scalps and stuff as well. Um, and so, like I say, I'm going to hover over this one. This one got to 80 before it dropped. It dropped right here. You just line it straight up. Go straight up from where it was at. And this is where it was at right here. Boom. Right at 80. Drop. Pips. How many pips was this from the top to the bottom? 47 pips. You know what I'm saying? Easy. All right. Came back up. Did it again. Drop. Minimal drawdown. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to test this stuff out in your demo. Play around with it and cook. Cook the markets. Right here. What happened? Touch the 20, touch the 25. Right here at the 25. You feel me? Right here on the dotted line. What happened? Shot straight up. How many pips was that? Boom. Easy. Then it kept going. Like if you want to, you want to calculate it up there at 127. But you know what I'm saying? I'd have been good with a couple like 43 pips. I'm good with it. Now sometimes, like I say, sometimes on the 15, what happens is right at right at the 25, it'll go up. Right? Sometimes it'll go. A little below the 25 and go up but what i've been seeing like right after 25 it usually tries to go up and then it'll come back down if it's on a downtrend now if it's on a downtrend then you know you might catch one of these you see it was a downtrend boom came below you might catch one of these and it may continue down you know um so be on the lookout for that all right so uh it does get as high as like up here this was like was at um, a little bit above it got to 88 right here and I was turned green on me, you know, let me know, hey, it's way over, it's way over. You know what I'm saying? So, sell time. What happened? Start selling. From here to here, it's about 25 pips. Now, like I said, depending on how the setup is, you can look at it yourself and say, hey, this ain't something I want to trade. I ain't going to trade that one. I'm going to wait on another one. You know what I'm saying? So, but you got all these examples of right here. Hit that 75, drop. You know what I'm saying? Pips. Minimal drawdown because it's getting you at the highest point. That's what it's doing. It's getting you at the highest point and the lowest point. Now, I will show y'all that I did get cooked. Now, let me show y'all how and why. All right, let me back this out. Let me back this out. It was on a Monday. Mondays are trap days, y'all. I've been, you know, I knew that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Mondays are trap days and they will trap you. And they will do some crazy stuff, right? Also, when news happens, they will do some crazy stuff to the market. So, be on the lookout for that. I'm trying to find a trade. Let me. I'm gonna have to back all the way out to see where the RSI was like extremely low, y'all. I'm talking about that RSI was low, low. There we go, right there. Boom. Y'all see this right here? This is where I got cooked at. Ugh. Uh, RSI got down to like a nine. Let me see. Ugh. Yeah, it got down to nine. I can't, I was trying to move it again, but it got down to nine on this drop, right? So let me come down. Let me show you how, how much I got cooked, y'all. $1,100. Sheesh, you probably like, what the heck? First and foremost, I didn't use the stop loss to take profit. You know, I just, you know, a lot of times I don't use them. My fault. But let me tell you what happened, though. All right, so let me see if I can put... Let me see if I can put this right here so I know, like, uh, my bad. I need to put this right here so I know where I'm supposed to be at when I zoom in. So, I, cause I want y'all to get up close and personal. You know what I'm saying with this? Oh, let me take this off. Boom. All right, here we go. So this is where it was at right here. It was the night before Christmas and I got cooked. <laughs> All right, here we go. Boom, yeah, so it got down to like eight. My bad, it got down to like eight, y'all. RSI got down to eight. Now, that's very rare. Let me tell you something. That don't happen a lot. That happens either when high news or on Mondays. It happens when Mondays is crazy days. So, Mondays is usually not most traders' favorite day to trade. Most people don't trade on Mondays. So, should have known that. Of course, I did know that. I just wanted to try to get it in because I was hot. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens. Uh, but look, so the market was coming down, right? What happened is it crossed the uh, the 25. So I was looking at it when it crossed 25 and hop in, right? Got down to 16. Shoot, you know me, I hit a buy. What you mean? <laughs> I hit a buy. Immediately when I hit the buy, 
the market starts shooting up, right? I was up $200. You can see I put a two standard up. I was up like $240. So I decided, I set this lowest point, I'm gonna walk away from the computer. Walked away from the computer, you feel me? Came back and I was down negative 700. I said, wait a minute, what's going on? At that time, the market had dropped down to like, probably like 12 or something, right? I'm like, ah, so I was looking at, I was waiting. It just kept going down. I said, what is going on? So then it dropped all the way down to eight and then reversed. I said, wow, never saw that before. But then I forgot Mondays are trap days. They trap you. So tip on a typical day, usually when they get down to 16, maybe 15, it'll reverse. But on trap days, the, the market makers, they trying to cook you. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get rid of you. So just let you know, Mondays is trap days. Most traders trade Tuesdays. Um, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Mondays usually trap days. Sundays the spread be super wide, so just be careful on those kind of days. So that's just a you know a lesson learned. But after that, I start cooking the markets again, and it was nothing. You feel me? So that's what had happened on that day. But uh, let me go to like a, a different pair. Let me go to I'm gonna go to USD CAD. All right, um, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the um, NBA RSI on there as well. Oh, but real quick, real quick, y'all, before I do that, um, did I get alerts. So I get alerts whenever the market goes um, past 75. When the market goes past 75, I get an alert to my phone. All right. It turns green. This turns green. I get an alert to my phone saying, hey, it's overbought. Look for a sale. Or when it turns green down here, it sends me an alert. If you want to learn how to do that, let me show you how to do that. First and foremost, you want to go to tools. You want to go to options. All right. Then you want to come down um, to notifications. You want to uncheck this this box that right here at the bottom. You want to uncheck that one, and you want to make sure this one is checked. Then you got to get your medical ID off your phone. So you need to go to MetaTrader on your phone. So we'll show you how to do that now. Okay. So now I'm on the phone. The first thing you want to do is click your tab that shows your settings. All right. Then you want to go down here to settings at the bottom. Click that. Then you want to come all the way down here where it says messages. All right. And it says meta quotes ID. All right. Now on iPhone, it may look different. You just got to find your settings, find your meta quotes ID. And you want to type that ID. You want to, you know, copy that ID or write it down. And then I'm about to go back to my screen and show you where to put it. Okay. And then after you get meta trader, uh, after you've done that on your phone, after you copy that, you want to paste that here and just click test. It'll send you a text message to your phone. And then whenever, uh, you have an, uh, uh indicator, any indicator really that has push alerts. So how you find out if it has push alerts, you click on indicator list. I'll go here, click on edit. And then I go to inputs. All right, now on inputs, it's, mine says do alerts. Most of the time on any other indicator, it's say like push alerts. If you have that on there under inputs, then that means whatever indicator you have on here, it'll send you a push alert. So if you have like the shark out of the water on there, you can go uh, add that as well, things like that. And it'll send you push alerts when the shark is out of the water, stuff like that. Uh, just any, just check your indicators and you'll be able to, you know, see that. But so I got this, um, this is a custom RSI though. The regular RSI doesn't come with this. I actually got this RSI from, uh, trading heroes. I have no clue who these people are. I just Googled it cause I was interested in trying to find out how to do it. Um, I paid $30 for it. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them or nothing. I just didn't want to take it. First, I was going to get away for free to y'all, but I don't think it's fair to them to do that. You know what I mean? Because they probably put work into this and I want them to get their bread. So I don't know them. I'm not affiliated with them. So if you want to, you know, get the same indicator, completely up to you. You ain't got to buy it. I'm just saying I bought it because I was interested in it. You feel me? But yeah, so that's how you do the push alerts to your phone and stuff like that, y'all. So that way you don't got to be at your screen all day. If you got something to do, they'll just send you alerts, kind of like a signal to your phone. And it'll be like, hey, it's overbought on this one, the M1, you know what I'm saying? Or on the M5, and you can go hair up and hop in them trades. That's how I was doing. Killing the game, you feel me? Um, so yeah. But yeah, same rules apply like on all of these, y'all. All of these same rules apply. So let me zoom out. Let me go like to like a boom. Y'all see how that how that popped up? Alert. You know what I'm saying? It let me know. Look. I don't know which one was that. Which one was that? USD CAD on the four hour cross down into oversold. Did that just happen? Oh snap. Alright, so the uh let me see. Oh, I think I missed that one. I think I missed that one. Cause it crossed down to oversold probably right in here. But that's the kind of alert you will get. 
All right, so boom, let me back out. Cause that's where the market is at now. But as you can see, y'all, what happened up here? I ain't doing my levels again, so I'm gonna just show y'all right here. This was 85, drop. Straight drop down to like, ooh, 500 something pips off of that drop. So on the higher time frames, you're gonna get you know a lot more pips, things like that. Uh, right here, let me see where this RSI was. The RSI was at 21 on this one. Still in between the uh, 25 and 16, and it shot straight up. You would've got 108 pips off of that. You see what I'm saying? So it works on all time frames, y'all. Y'all can kill with it, use it to your advantage to cook the markets because these jobs don't care about you. They gonna have you outside sweeping the back of the stove. Oh, for what? You feel? <laughs> yeah, I remember the story, bro. They don't care nothing about you. They gonna do whatever they can do to make sure that you make them rich. That ain't what we trying to do here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that drop, boom. And I wonder what the RSI was right here. What was it? Just take a guess. It was a 79, man. And we got this beautiful drop. Oh my God. Easy. And it dropped way further than that if you wanted to hold it longer. 500 is on the pip. Stop playing with us. In these markets, man. It's the wealth family. I appreciate y'all, man. Hopefully this bless y'all. Y'all go out there and get that bag. You feel me? And uh, yeah, man. I'm going to leave this video right here. And uh, yeah, man. Go make some money and let me know how this works for y'all. And I'm out. Peace.